Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steve and welcome to my world. Today we are back with part number three of our Star Wars Lego Star Wars Build Your Own Adventure set. This is what we got. It, it comes with uh, a lot of different things, a map and some stickers and a, a lot of Legos. You can build all these different things. In the last two videos we did, we built the V19 Torrent and the Separatist Cannon. They kind of go together um, in the sets. We'll be moving on to the other sets here too as well. Here is the V19 Torrent that we built. Pretty nice, a lot of Legos. This set had 189 pieces to it, but I mean, you can see how big these things are. This is the V19 Torrent, a lot of moving parts. Um, just a really nice set. We've never seen these before. We actually have four different versions. Uh, first, we're gonna build all the Star Wars ones though. And here is the last one we just built, the Separatist Cannon. The legs all move. Everything's pretty cool. And the, this thing moves up here too. So here is the set that we got. Along with everything else, let's lay that down, it doesn't like to stand on its own. And the cannon moves up and down as well to try to fire. We also got Commander Gree to run his vehicle. And we had the Droid Commander to run his. All right, with the set, we also got a set of nice stickers. We got a map, and a foldable play map, so you can um, play in different zones. Okay, you got your canyon and your desert, your forest and your, and your tundra. Ice, we're not gonna open it all up but you can lay them out and play with your Lego sets. Also, we got this set right here, or this box right here is what the Legos came in. It has a list of all the different Legos that came in the set. Move that off to the side as well. And lastly, we got this really nice hardback book. You go through this book, it says Build Your Own Adventure, The Battle for the Stolen Crystals, okay? This book has all these different things you can build. It talks about the people, gives you a history of them, about the Jedi, the Clone Army, the Sith Lords, Talks about the two people we got, Clone Commander Gree and the Commander Droid. Talks, gives you a little comics, talks about things, and then detailed instructions on how to build all your things that you're gonna build. So what we're gonna do is we are going to tear down these parts, unfortunately, after I'm, I was really happy that we had them. And we're gonna start with our next section, which is in the forest. And we are to going today to build the WTRT Walker, which is this thing right here. So let's get these things tore down, and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're back. We're gonna go ahead and move this box out of the way today, or right now, and this is again what we're making next, the WTRT Walker. Let me stick that over here. Move you guys down so you can see what my beautiful masterpiece has now been reduced to. Just a pile of Legos. But what I will say is it is really cool how they can take this group of Legos and make four different scenes with two vehicles each that you can com or completely play with with the, two, the uh, two people. So, using the same exact Lego, somebody designed eight different vehicles. So what we're gonna do is flip on over to the WTRT Walker. Again, here he is right here. This is what we're gonna build, and this is Commander Gree's um, vehicle. And again, it, it gives you statistics and, and information all about this. And then, of course, when you flip the page, you can start your instructions. So, we are going to start with this piece right here, which is a 12 piece white, and then we're gonna take a black piece of grating. And there is a chance that I didn't get every one of these taken apart. It takes a while to take these apart. Just about as much time as it did to put them together. Not quite, but already can't find the first piece. So, let's see here. Where are you? There it is. All right, we're gonna take this black grating piece, it looks like this. We're gonna put it on the back right here, just like that, right in the middle. There we go. Next up, we are going to take these eight piece whites, and we're gonna put one on each side. So we're gonna put one right there, and then we're gonna put the other one over here on this side. Then we're gonna take four of these pieces that look like this. They're light gray, they have two pegs, and then they got this rod off the side. We're gonna put them at the ends of each of these. So we're gonna put one there, and one here. And we're gonna put two more on the other side. So we're gonna put, oops, one there, and one there. Okay, up next, we're going to take a, an eight piece white, looks like this. We're gonna put it across the front of this, across those grays. And then we're gonna take two of these pieces that look like this, they're dark gray. They got four little inverted pegs here, and on the bottom of them, they have a little tube underneath it, only on half of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put those off the sides here with the tube facing out this way. <clears throat> so we're gonna put one there 
and we're gonna put this one way over here on that side. All right, up next, we're gonna take a blue peg that looks like this. Okay, it's smooth on one side, it's got a little cross on the other. We're gonna put the cross out, so we're gonna put the smooth side in, one there, and we're gonna put one on the other side the same way. And then on the outside of those, we're gonna take these thick black cylinders, and we're gonna put one on each side. So we're gonna put one right there, and we're gonna put one over here on this side. Looks like that, and these do spin. Okay. Up next, we're gonna take a black circular disc, and again, I know the darker colors are harder to see on the camera, but we got that one there. We're gonna put it in this back front corner here, the back right corner, I mean. And then we're gonna put one on the other side as well. And then in front of those, we're gonna put this, what is a one piece black, except it doesn't have a peg. If I can pick it up, my goodness. If I can pick it up, it's got a hook on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see here if I can get a better, here, there we go. So it's got one hook on it. Okay, we're gonna put that in here with the hook facing this way so that the opening is to the side here. Okay, and we're gonna put one on the other side as well. <coughs> Excuse me, and I dropped it. These are tiny. Okay, there we go. All right, up next, we are going to take two of these dark gray uh, cylinders. We're going to put them next to the pieces we just put on, one there and one over here. And then in between there, in the middle, we're gonna put this thick four-piece black block. We're gonna stick it right inside here, like that, maybe, there we go. All right, up next, we're gonna take two more of these thick black four-piece cylinders. We're gonna put one on this side. And then we're gonna put another one over here on this side, like that. All right, up next we're gonna build two of these, or no, we're not gonna build them, we're just gonna take them. We got two guns, and it looks like we're gonna have to steal them from the guys back here. So, these guys are no longer getting their guns. He looks mad, got his head down. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna steal that gun, and we're gonna steal this gun. And we're gonna put them in here like, let's see. We're gonna, put, let's put down, first we're gonna put down a, uh, not that one, this one here, a 12 piece white one like this. And then we're gonna put right off the back of here, we're gonna put these guns in here like this. So we have one here like this, and we have one on this side like this. So, there we go. All right, <clears throat> up next, we are going to take and put a two-piece black, just a regular two-piece black, right in front of this black block here. And then we're gonna put a white piece, L-shaped white piece that looks like this. It's a two-peg white, and it's got this little lip down here with four inverted pegs coming off the side of it. We're gonna put that right off the front, just like that, okay? And then we're going to take two of these thin four-piece dark gray cylinders. We're gonna put one in the front here and then one next to it on the other side over there. All right, next up, <clears throat> we are going to take and add a four-piece black piece right here. We're gonna put that right here on the front like that, okay? Then we're gonna put a three-piece white on either side of it, so we're gonna put one right there. And we're gonna put one, nope, that, there it is, right here on this side. So there's what we have so far. All right, up next, we are going to, we gotta make two of these, so we're gonna take this piece that looks like this, it's again that four piece inverted peg with a little cylinder in it on the bottom. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put the disc, this dark gray disc that looks like a satellite dish right here, okay? We stick that in the back of it like this. And then on the front of it, we're gonna put these two little red um, translucent pieces here, these little discs, circles. So we're gonna put them here like this, and like this. And then we gotta build that again. So we're gonna find this dark gray, and then we're gonna put on it a satellite dish, a dark gray satellite dish on the back, and then two red circles, one there, And, ruh, ruh. where's the other one? Oh, 
I lied, guys. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're only building one. Okay, so we're gonna put that right here like that, okay? Up next, we're gonna take two of these really thick, dark gray four-piece cylinders, and we're gonna put one here on this side, and we're gonna put one right next to it over here on that side. Okay. Next up, we're gonna take these really tall, thick, white piece, two block, piece blocks, put one on each side of these cylinders here, so one there, and one there. And then we're gonna put two of these gray pieces, these two piece grays with that rod off the end of them, we're gonna put them inside here on either side, so one here like this, and one over here on this side like this, okay? Next up, we are going to take this, uh, let's see here. It's a piece that looks like this. So it's an L-shaped. It's got a two peg up here and it's got four inverted pegs coming off the side of it. It's hard to see right there. We're gonna put that right here in the middle. So we're gonna put right between those grays right there. Okay. Then we're going to build, what else are we gonna build here? Okay, so we're gonna take this dark gray Let's see if I can find it. It's a thick, dark gray piece with a cross cut out of it right here. So we're going to take this piece like this. We're going to take another one of these blue pegs that looks like this. that has a cross and a smooth cylinder on one side. Put the cross inside. Then we're going to take this dark gray piece that looks like this. Again, four inverted pegs with one little um, tunnel on, the half, or on half of it. And we're going to stick it inside here just like this. So that does move like that. And we're going to take that whole thing and we're going to put it right up here on top of this stuff, just like this. <clears throat> I broke off the gun. Uh -oh. And this is the good side, so we don't wanna break off the gun. There we go. All right, so there's what we have so far. All right, then we're going to take and put on a maroon. Let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we're gonna put a maroon one piece that looks like this. It's got it's normally a two piece, but it's got one uh, peg in the middle of it. We're gonna put it right here on the back like that. And we're gonna put a two piece white in front of it, like that. And then we're gonna put two four piece maroons in front of those. So one right there and one right there. Okay, up next we're gonna put a thick one piece maroon right here on top of this back peg like that. And then we're gonna put a maroon piece that looks like this again two piece wide with only one peg in the middle of it right in the middle in the front and then we're going to put the same piece here in dark gray we're going to put on two on each side so we're going to put one here like this and can't find any more of them there we go one here like this one over here like this and one right here like that get them straightened out a little bit there we go so there is what we have. All right, up next, we're going to take and put these gray pieces that look like two walls. They look like this. They got walls on on two sides, but nothing else. So we're gonna put one of those right here like this, okay, facing that way. And one on the other side, opposite hand. So one facing this way. And then we're going to put in front of those two of these diagonal white pieces that look like this. We're going to put one in front of here like this. And we're going to put one on the other side like that. Okay, there's what we have so far. All right, so now we're going to put that down for just a minute so we can build what's called the mortar launcher. Okay, so we're going to take this big white piece like looks like this. We're going to put this red grating piece that gonna go right there on the back like that. Then we're gonna turn around and put two triangle or diagonal pieces. And if I can get them off the ground. So two of these little diagonal pieces that look like this. Put one, <laughs> threw it down. Put one on this side right here. And then we're gonna put one on the other side over here. Okay, so there's what we got so far. Then we're gonna take two of these white pieces that look like this. Just a regular two piece block with only one peg in the middle of them. Put one on each side. So we're gonna put one there and one over here on this side. Then we're gonna put two two piece blacks right next, uh, underneath those. Just regular two piece black ones. 
So one there, and one over here. Then we're gonna take this dark gray uh, circular piece, put it between the by, beside the blacks right there. And then we're gonna put another piece of red grating right here on the front, upside down, like that. So there's what we have so far. Okay, up next we're gonna put this gray barrel looking piece that looks like this. We put that right here in the back. And on the either side of that, we're gonna put these black cones that look like this, okay? So we're gonna put one over here on this side. And... Do I have another? Oh, hey. it's on the end of the stick. Is that, is that all one piece? That's all one piece. Let's see here. I don't see it. All right, let me find the other black cone and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so those cones were on the bottom of these these rods, they did come off. So we're gonna put the other co uh, black cone right there. All right, up next we're gonna take these gray pieces that look like this, a really cur curved arch with one little ledge on it with one peg. And we're gonna stick those right here on the front like this. So it's gonna come off like that. Okay, and the other one is gonna go right here. Like that. Okay. All right, next up we are going to take and we're gonna add the these three piece smooth maroons. Put one on each side, so we're gonna put one there. And we're gonna put one over here on this side. Then we're gonna take this smooth green, and this is the only green piece in the whole set, so they use it really wisely. And it's gonna go right there. Okay. And then we're gonna take and turn this thing upside like upside down like this. Oops. And right here in the front, we're gonna put this thick, nope, that's not it. Here it is. This thick two-piece gray, it's gonna go right here in the middle in the front, okay? And then this whole thing here is gonna, we're gonna take it like this, and then we're gonna stick this all up in here. And let's see how high it goes. It looks like it's gonna go right about like that. And then we're gonna squeeze it like that. So there is what we have. Pretty cool. Oh, dropped it. So, a lot of good detail work in these things. All right, so that's the mortar launcher onto it. Now we're going to build, I think, the legs. We're gonna set that down for just a minute. We're gonna take this very large white piece here. Is it two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 pieces. We're gonna take these two dark gray pieces that look like this. They got two pegs with a hook on them. Stick them off the side, off the back of this side here, and one right next to it like that. On the other side, we're gonna put a two-piece white with two hooks, okay? And it's gonna come off like this. And then we're gonna put a circular, let's see here, circular disc, dark gray disc, right up underneath here, like that. And then we're gonna put one of these pieces that looks like this. They actually move, except we're gonna go ahead and close it up like this. And then we're gonna stick it down inside here like that, okay? All right, next up we're gonna put a an eight piece maroon right on top of all this up at the top. And we're gonna put a six piece light gray down here on the bottom. And then we're gonna put a smooth four piece light gray from here to here. One peg on the gray, then the gap, then two up here. And then we're gonna put this uh, maroon grating and we're gonna put it on top of the maroon over on this side, <clears throat> okay? What we're gonna do with that is then take that and turn it, let's see here, upside down like this. So that gray piece is gonna be on the outside and then it's gonna fasten right in here like that, okay? Then we're gonna build another one and this one's gonna be kind of opposite hand though. So we're gonna do this, uh, 16 piece white. And we're gonna put two of these dark gray pieces with hooks on them. Get all these pieces over here so I can see a little better. And then this one here. And then we're going to put the white two piece on the bottom with the two hooks coming off of it, along with the circular dark gray disc right there. And then another one of these that folds up, we're gonna go ahead and fold it up, stick it down here like this. This time, we're gonna take the smooth four piece gray, if I, there it is. And it's gonna go on, oh wait, we missed a step. We're gonna take another eight piece maroon there and a six piece light gray there. Now we're gonna take the smooth uh, gray one and put it on that side and the red grating and put it on this side. 
Then we're gonna flip that one upside down and we're gonna put it over here just like this. Okay, next up, we're going to build the feet. So we're gonna take this big piece that looks like this. There's two of them. Okay, they're opposite hands of each other. So when you put them in there like that, so we need this one first. So we take this one, and then we're gonna take two of these two-piece light grays that look like this with a rod off the end of them. We're gonna put one here like this and one right next to it, like that. Then we're gonna take this dark gray triangle, and it's the length of two of these. So we're gonna put one there, and we're gonna take a one-piece wide light gray triangle, and it's gonna go in here like this. So that is what we have. Okay, then we're going to take this white piece, and these are opposite hands too, so you gotta make sure you get the right one. It looks like this, okay? And then we're gonna put that one, let's see here, oh, got it backwards. It's gonna go on just like this, okay, right there. And then we're gonna take a six piece gray, light gray, and put it across that whole thing just like that. Now we're gonna take that one, turn it upside down like this and fasten it to this leg over here, like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but opposite hands. We're gonna take this piece here this time. We're gonna take these light gray two pieces with the rod, put one there. And we're gonna put one right next to it like this. Then we're gonna take a dark gray two piece triangle and put it right here like this. Then a light gray one piece triangle. Put it in there like that. So it looks like this. Okay, and then we're gonna take a white trapezoid looking piece that looks like this, put it right there, and then a six piece gray across the top like that. We're gonna take that whole thing, turn it this way, plug it in, and then we're gonna make some magic happen. We're gonna make his legs come down like this, and his feet walkers come out like that. And there it is. Then we're gonna take our Commander Gree, and we're gonna stick him up in here just like, let's put his hand down a little bit so he can fit in there, just like that. And there is our WTRT walker. How cool is that thing? Oh no, dropped him. Again, these are not little Legos. I mean, that's, I don't know, what is that? Six, eight inches tall, somewhere in there. They're big and they got a lot of neat little things. There's a mortar cannon on the front, pretty cool. So there is our WTRT Walker. And we got all these pieces here to make our next one in our next video. We'll get to that in another day. So what'd you guys think? This is a pretty cool thing. Um, leave your comments down below, please let me know. Uh, let me know how you guys, what you guys think of these sets. I think they're pretty cool that you can build all these different things with them, let me know. If you would also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Your support means everything to us. And as always, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.